Lyle shares helped carry out the administration's message effectively. And by the way, the Iran deal wouldn't have happened without the strong support, through the back door, of course, by Bob Corker, Republican, Tennessee, I should say Republican, that is Republican Whig Party, Tennessee, who laid the path for Obama to get what he wanted because of the evisceration of the treaty clause in the Constitution. Bob Corker is now under consideration, apparently, as Trump's running mate. The magazine piece revived Republican criticism of the Iran agreement and so forth, but this is the deal. Outside groups of all stripes are increasingly giving money to news organizations for special projects or general news coverage. Most news organizations, including the AP, have strict rules governing whom they can accept money from and how to protect journalistic independence. Plowshares backing is more unusual, given its prominent role in the rancorous partisan debate over the Iran deal. The Plowshares grant to NPR, National Pubic Radio, supported, quote, national security reporting that emphasizes the themes of U.S. nuclear weapons policy and budgets, Iran's nuclear deal, international nuclear security topics, and U.S. policy toward nuclear security, according to Plowshares' own 2015 annual report recently published online. Hmm. Plowshares has funded NPR's coverage of national security since 2005. The radio network said Plowshares reports show at least $700,000 in funding over that time. All grant descriptions since 2010 specifically mention Iran. Plowshares' links to the media are tremendously troubling, said Mike Pompeo of Kansas, an Irandale critic. And he told AP he repeatedly asked NPR to be interviewed last year. As a counterweight to Democrat supporter and the, of the argument, Representative Adam Schiff of California, who he said regularly appeared on NPR. But NPR refused to put Pompeo on the air, he said. The station said it had no record of Pompeo's request and listed several Republican, prominent Republicans who they did feature. Another who appeared on NPR is Joseph Cercioni, Plowshares president. He spoke about the negotiations on air at least twice last year. The station identified Plowshares as an NPR funder one of those times, the other time it did not. Plowshares boasts of helping to secure the deal, while success was driven by the fearless leadership of the Obama administration and supporters in Congress, said board chairwoman Mayor... Is this boring, everybody? Let me cut to the chase. This group, Plowshares, is a left-wing organization that raises a huge amount of money to influence the media, among other things. Gives a crap load of money to NPR... And NPR was, uh, was part of the pom-pom brigades on behalf of this slimeball Iran deal. Now, journalism, so-called journalism, is supposed to be different from opinion speakers and writers and editorial speakers and writers and so forth and so on. Journalists claim to be objective or nonpartisan or bipartisan or bisexual. I mean bipartisan. And so this raises serious questions, does it not to you? But look at how the White House manipulated this entire Iran deal with the help of the Republicans in the Senate, the nitwits in the Senate, who didn't know half of this stuff was going on. You got this clown, Bed Rhodes, the deputy, I believe, National Security Advisor. Oh, he's just a backbencher. No, he's a frontbencher, front and center. Guy had zero experience in national security, he wanted to be a novelist. Now he's just your typical putrid puke. And uh, Ben Rose, there he is bragging to the New York Slimes magazine about his role in manipulating the American people, all the mouthpieces in the media who he fed and they regurgitated their lines, and that much of what they said were flat-out lies, like the regime was moderate when it wasn't, like they had a president there they could work with who was making entreaties to them when he was not, like they began discussions with Iran much later than they actually began discussions with Iran. And this group Plowshares is funding NPR, among others, to advance the propaganda, in essence, of what was going on in the White House. This is how you and I were lied to. Now, in, in constitutional times, in times when we had a working, functioning Constitution, a man like Barack Obama would have been impeached for this and 500 other things. This plowshare groups would be defunded. The media involved and being bought and paid for would resign. But we don't have the republic anymore. Very few people are even talking about this. It's not a big deal. It's not a scandal. Instead, we need to talk about one poll months and months and months away from the election. That's what we're supposed to do. The Arms Control Association got from plowshares 282,500. The Brookings Institute, 225,000, and on and on and on. Now, this group, J Street, this phony group, 
with what I would argue self-hating Jews. They would say, oh, no, no, we're just for peace. We're liberal Jews. Well, that's my opinion. J Street, this is where all the, uh, the hate Israel types go to speak. Oh, look at all the... They look at the Jews. They're applauding me. J Street. The Liberal Jewish Political Action Group received $576,500 to advocate for the Iran deal. More than 281000 went to the National Iranian American Council. I'm telling you about all this, ladies and gentlemen, because there's, there's this, like this invisible, sleazy graft going on behind the scenes. It's not on the radar, so you never see it. It's this kind of money, where they're palming money out there to various operatives and press operations and all the rest to advance their supposed journalistic expertise, which is really agenda-driven. And also, within the government, the Environmental Protection Agency, I talk about this tonight on Levin TV, so I won't just repeat it here, massive slush funds from shaking down businesses and property owners or litigation or settlements or tax dollars or direct appropriations from Congress, billions and billions of dollars. They have these two groups within the uh, EPA. Uh, The only people on these committees are uh, bureaucrats, senior bureaucrats in the EPA, and they dole out money to their favorite left-wing organizations, among others, among other entities, but their favorite left-wing organizations. And that's going on. We conservatives, we sit back, we wonder why the government keeps moving in one direction while we beg it to move in another direction. This whole thing is mobbed up. I don't mean mob in terms of the real mob, but it's mobbed up the same way in terms of its tactics and its behavior. It truly is, don't you think? Plowshares has set its sights on other media organizations in a cultural strategy report on its website. The group outlined a broader objective of ensuring regular and accurate coverage of nuclear issues in reputable and strategic media. Here's what I would say. If you are a supposed journalistic outfit, a news operation, I'm not talking about a political party, a political website, a conservative opinion show. If you are a news organization and you claim to be some kind of a journalistic news organization. You shouldn't be taking money from anybody. I understand advertising. That's different. But taking grants, taking grants from organizations that are promoting an agenda and people aren't really aware of it, taking grants, I don't know, folks. That's kind of a new journalism to me. 